We're Ben, Emily and Alan, and these are our two narrowboats. We live full time on our larger boat and have been travelling the UK for the last few years. This week we have an update for you all. We have some exciting changes coming up, but first we take the boats further south. On the way we have some engine issues and finally we arrive in Napton where we can't get any further due to a lock closure. If you enjoy our videos, please remember to like and subscribe. Good morning folks. We are still at Hillmorton at the top of the lock, but it's a really beautiful winter morning. I thought you could do with an update on Rambler because Benny's done quite a lot since last time you saw. So yeah, let's go, let's go see. Isn't that incredible? Little Rambler. Benny's just gone in there to light the fire because she's totally frozen solid. There he is. We're gonna come in and see what you've been up to if that's all right. Really? Yeah, we need an update. chilly isn't it? Yeah, so you've already <laughs> seen the wood burner, I've done the back for it now. These edges on as well to sort of finish it off a bit haven't yeah. you? I've bought some tiles to do the kitchen worktop and behind it there so I'll be putting those up soon. I've never tiled in my life before. I've started doing the, the, the worktop doors, I've done these kitchen cupboards. I've made these cupboards. I've not finished that. I've made the pull out sofa bed. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of under a load of stuff now, so you can't see it, but it, it pulls out. So it's like a small double bed, isn't it? So yeah. yeah, it's a proper nice bed and it's a sofa when it's away. The thing is, obviously, when you're building in such a small space is that there is stuff on top of stuff, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, you've what? got to move it from there to there, back again, back again, <laughs> back again. Oh, can I show them one of my favourite new things? Yeah, <clears throat> please do. Okay, so when you flick this switch, the lights come on under there. So I've, I've done it up all, along, all the way along, haven't you? Up to around the, behind the water tank, sort of, and I've put a front on the water tank. I've cut a desk shape out and I've put some <laughs> primer on it. I did. It, it's not going to be at that angle, isn't it? That. Cool. I'm going to paint it a nice colour when I find a nice colour. Yeah, I've done a little shelf underneath. I've carpeted the front as well. But now it's a complete mess already. Looks a bit dusty. So that needs hoovering and edging. Oh no, and doing you've got mud on it. Yeah. It's so muddy out there, isn't it? It's sliding on mud everywhere now. Oh, it's warming up so quick. I think a lot of people have been interested in your burner. Yeah, it's, it's really good. You can get quite a lot of coal in it, which is obviously coal burns a lot slower. For this sort of space, it's amazing, it's isn't it? It's a perfect it's, size, yeah. It's been super toasty in here, even it when it's been in the minuses. Absolutely, yeah. It's It just gets so warm in here. I've been in a t-shirt when it's been like minus outside. Also, because yeah. you've got the, um, the spray foam insulation, so yeah. it's like really well insulated, isn't it? You've got a good setup in here. Something else about the fire that's really cool is because it's got stainless steel flue, when it gets hot, it starts sort of changing colour and it starts going orange and purple. Looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that purple's just started the last couple of days. When we get our bigger van, I think I'm going to get one of these for it. Because we definitely want to burn in there, don't we? Yeah. Not just a diesel heater, because it's just nice to have a fire, isn't it? Like if we drive up into the French mountains or something, it'd be nice to have a burner. <laughs> yeah, I think that they they just give off a longer lasting heat than say a diesel heater. I definitely prefer it. And yeah. The only thing is it hasn't been tested overnight, but I, I think if you did load it up at bedtime, you'd still have a bit of heat in the morning. Yeah. I mean, there's enough space in there to get like a good amount of coal in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you could get at least 10 pieces in it. Cause it's and that's like probably all we put in the big box. one. Yeah, I know. At night. That's it, yeah. My next jobs are gonna be um, getting curtain rails, then I need to get some fabric to make that. And then just all the finishing off stuff, I'm going to get some paint and put some colour into here because I'm aware it's very woody at the minute. <laughs> I'm going to put, I think I'm going to get some like turquoise and green and creative colours, maybe some yellow. Yeah, just get it looking really like quirky in here. And that's why I've done the curved shelves too. I'm going to do some more 
curvy, twisty things just to make it a bit more like eccentric and surreal so it's not too too normal. <laughs> Wouldn't want that, would we? No, no. What are you doing today? I'm thinking of making a like a set of shelves here and then a smaller one there. See you later. See ya. So today's pretty exciting. We're heading onto the South Oxford Canal. It's a stretch of canal that we've been trying to get onto for nearly a year. <laughs> Earlier in the year, we got to this point and then we decided that we were gonna actually head north again rather than head south and uh, take our boat to the boatyard to get the hull grit blasted and two pack painted. So later when we get onto the South Oxford Canal, We'll be reaching a village called Napton. There's a flight of locks there and the bottom one, I think, is actually closed. So we can't get through until the 22nd of December, which is in about a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. And even though the locks are opening on the 22nd of December, I think we're going to stay there for Christmas. Just because it's supposed to be a really nice little spot. Maybe a couple of days after Boxing Day, we might move through the locks then. It's a bit chilly, but the sun is out, which is lovely. I don't know if you can see, but um, I've been trying to film the birds. There just seems to be hundreds of birds out today. There's just masses of them flying around. I don't know if they're starlings. Maybe they're just out to enjoy the last of the winter sun or something. Maybe they know that it's gonna be hailing later. Apparently it's gonna hail later. That's why we wanted to set off so early because we really wanna try and get to Napton before the weather changes. Currently it's very sunny, but over there it looks like stormy, cold, hail clouds. And that's where we're heading. <laughs> so I think the forecast might be right. Well, it's pretty cold and it started to rain fair bit earlier than it was forecast to so we might be getting a bit wet now Emily doesn't even seem to have a coat on Okay we're at the water point it's on a strange bend so I don't know how it's going to go really. Can't really get to the... I don't know if we can get to that. Hey. Oh. 
up. Okay. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the water to fill up, Benny's popped into her Midland Chandler's. Uh, Chandler's is a sort of shop that sells all sorts of boaty things. He's buying glass for his broken porthole. So he's just gone to measure the glass, I think, and get a few other bits and bobs. Okay, it's full. Look. That filled the tank quickly. I don't think it was completely empty, but it was pretty much empty, so... Right, now to continue. When Benny's back, he's been quite a while. Okay, I think we're on the Grand Union now for a short time. I might be wrong, I might be crazy. There we go. Goodbye, Brunston. So we are now on the Grand Union Canal. It's just a little stretch that we're doing before we get to Napton Junction. But it's exciting to be on a new bit, even if it is only a really short bit. But yeah, so excited to get to the South Oxford. Excited to get to Napton. It was raining quite a lot. It has stopped, it hasn't hailed yet. I think we're actually gonna stop for some lunch soon. Um, it's about midday. Benny's moored really far away and he left one of his chains at a mooring so he's only got one chain so he's got a peg in. Anyway it's lunchtime. Here he comes. Feels good to be on a fresh canal. It does doesn't it? It's, it's, instant, nice. it's instantly more peaceful. Do you know what I feel like there's not a train line or a motorway near us for once. Yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it was quite loud there. There's always yeah. freight trains going past, wasn't yeah. there? It is lovely. And look at this towpath. No mud. Didn't catch your names, but very nice to very briefly meet you guys with little pug boat there. We didn't film it, but got a little springer like Benny's called Pug. Yeah. Very cute. Nice one. <sighs> so quite a few of you in the comments have noticed that we have a new sofa. Oh, we do. Y you are right. So we've been very kindly gifted this sofa from Nabru and we absolutely love it. Before we had a desk here, but now that we've got Rambler, we no longer have the need for a desk and we've always wanted a sofa, so this is perfect. It's just nice to have a space to properly chill because we've got the dinette, which obviously it's like, um, like a seating area with a dining table and that can fold down into like a the bed basically but that's what we were using as our sofa which wasn't really ideal so this this has just been amazing yeah it's been so lovely so what makes Nabru really special is that their sofas can fit into any space because they're self-assembly so even in a tiny space like a narrowboat it was super easy just to get all the parts through the front door which is not a big space and yeah just put it together in here. It's really easy to put together. Benny actually put it together on his own. Not that I can only put very simple things together <laughs> because I'm... Um, yeah, I've just built a boat. No, we know that, Benny. Um, it's not it's I mean. more that it's like, you know, it's just really it could easy. be just seen as being together. heavy and stuff, but yeah. yeah, it was actually pretty straightforward. And it, it feels incredibly sturdy. Like the pieces that slot together, they're like held together by strong pieces of metal. Yeah, it's, it seems very sturdy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And the other brilliant thing about these sofas is that you can choose from loads of different colours yeah. and loads of different fabrics. That was kind of the hardest bit, wasn't it? Because we're so indecisive. Yeah, and there's so many choices. We actually went for really velvet emerald. And I yeah. think actually, to be completely honest, the camera doesn't show the colour properly. It's a much more like rich, like a greeny sort of colour, isn't it? I think it looks mm. quite blue on the camera, but it we, yeah. Yeah, it works really well with the colours that we already have going on here in the boat. Yeah. And it's a lovely soft fabric as well. Yeah, it's super comfy. Alan absolutely loves it. It's mm. her, I think she thinks it's hers, obviously. Yeah. She likes sitting up here yeah. a lot as well. 
<laughs> She's often just Should folded they? up on the top there. <laughs> so they also have a wide range of sofa styles and I think you can also create your own if you want. I think there's like a custom option. And they're made in the UK as well. So yeah, that's just, really nice. You know, they're made to order. And they're competitively priced to what's out there. So definitely go check them out. We absolutely love our sofa. Our friend has one as well. Yeah, we highly recommend it. It's so comfy, isn't it? Yeah. This is just Properly a two seater. This is just the two seater, isn't it? And it's like. Yeah. It's been such a delight just, like, to hang out on here. Yeah, it's so good. All three of us are on here quite a lot. Yeah. We had Christmas on here. We put it we up did. the day before Christmas, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so I was... think we spent most of Christmas <laughs> just chilling on here. We had a few days off and yeah. we were just reading and watching films and hanging out. Eating lots of chocolate. Yeah. We'll put the link in the description and the pinned comment, so definitely go check them out. Yeah, thank you so much, Nabru, for sending us this lovely sofa. Guess what we're having, guys? Beans on toast. <laughs> Benny's having egg, I'm having smoked tofu. This stuff is incredible. We love it. Lunch has been consumed. Right, we Let's get going. Get on. We've got about the same again. We're quite tired already. But it is only... And the cold takes it out of you. Ten to one, yeah it does, yeah. Ten to one. Let's go. Let's we're gonna go. get there about three if we're lucky. Alan, you stay on lookout, okay? Sorry about the state of our kitchen folks. Now Just we've got water, we can do the washing up and sort it all out. Let's go! Oh the sun's out again. It's nice. I think we'll probably get to Napton just before sunset. If all goes well. You can really see where the canal is starting to twist and turn where they've built it around the hills. They've used the geography of the land to form the shape of the canal, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice to see a few hills. Just had to pull over because we slowed down for a boat that was going the other way and Bunny's engines conked out. Still no luck? No. So it's just stalled and you can't restart it. Yeah. This I... isn't an ideal place to stop because it's like the tow pass awful. Oh dear. Definitely not out of fuel, are you? Because you just topped that no, up. There's loads of fuel. I think it might be. That tick over thing again or something. Yeah, there's a screw that you would use to adjust the tick over. And the last time this happened, it was because it had like vibrated itself into a position where the tick over was so low, it was like making the engine store. Do you mind pulling me in for a second? No, that's right? what I'm doing. You float away so easily, don't you? Oh, poor little rambler. Not feeling well. At least you've got the right headwear on for this. Oh, yeah. Why is it on this side? It'll be where the throttle goes in, I imagine. Like where the throttle cable goes in. Somewhere near, maybe. I don't know. That's a complete <coughs> definitely better than it was. Fingers crossed that's it. It did that once before and it's just like the tick over is too low so it just stalls because there isn't enough revs and it had just like rattled loose I think. So check out this towpath though. <gasps> Look at where the water comes to. Pretty high. I'll just go in front for a bit if that's okay. Yeah yeah you go ahead yeah. We'll just blag it till it switches off again. It won't switch off, it's all right now.
Definitely a day for cats, huh? That's the third one I've seen today. OK, here we are at the next junction where we carry on straight ahead onto the Oxford Canal and do not turn right, which is a continuation of the Grand Union Canal. And it says Warwick if you turn right. Does that mean we're on the South Oxford? There's no sign. But we're nearly there, we're nearly at Napton. Oh, I'm sad there was no sign, I was looking forward to that. Looks like rain. It hasn't hailed though, which is definitely a bonus. So nearly there. I think we're like skirting around the edge of Napton now. We did it! Hey, uh, yes! We're here! Ugh. Your hand's disgusting! <laughs> ah, we've made it to Napton. Yep. And <sighs> check out the towpath. More but, mud. <laughs> yeah. You want to glow in the dark sock? Yeah, they're just there. Nah. I don't really glow in the dark, but... Well, it seems to be raining now, so I think we've managed to just miss this really bad big black cloud hopefully so that's pretty good um we might go to the pub tonight but first of all it's just gonna get ourselves sorted out we also need to go back and get the van sorry I'm getting rain in my eyes um our friends again are gonna give us a lift back we keep returning the favor helping each other out so it's been really really great because as you've seen the towpaths are like that and uh, not fun to cycle in. But yeah, we made it. Ah, <sighs> yes. So happy, so happy. Is Rambler all right then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, it was the- that thing again. I think it was the tick over speed. All right, I'm going in, I'm getting soaked now, actually. Okay, we've locked the boat up. We're going to collect the van now. We're going together this time. It's muddy. We've moored in the muddiest bit. It's like a bog. If we take the long boat further ahead and there isn't anywhere to moor, we're a bit stuck. So we know that we can moor here. We'd have to reverse, which would be really Yeah, rubbish. we don't really reverse, except in extreme circumstances. Ooh. Okay, so we go. Oh, oh, oh my God. What? You slept? I fell over. It's wild. You're wearing your mud surfers. I'll show you in there daylight that this is the reason we can't go any further. Wow. From, from the past. Right, yeah, it's from just... From the past. Wow. Yeah. My oh, goodness. This is the folly. Looks nice, doesn't it, Benny? It does look nice, doesn't it? Do you know which way we're going, yeah? Yeah. Back at the van. Ah, I'm feeling pretty tired to be fair. I'm gonna go and get some stuff for dinner. We're gonna go to the pub, have a drink. We'll see you there. <laughs> wow, what a cruise. <sighs> yeah, but we made it. We made it in the end. We did. Um, but we are actually coming to you from the future. And we thought it was about time we share the news that we mentioned previously. Yeah, we've got a very exciting update. We've got some exciting changes coming for our life and for yes. the channel. And that is that we have taken a mooring. Well, that doesn't actually sound that exciting, but it is to us because it means that we can travel more. It does. We're going to stay put in one place. We're going to be getting a bigger van. We're going to be 
get in a van to kit out, we're going to make it so we can kind of live in it half the time, we're going to go away travelling, we've got lots of plans of where to go. We have. And if you've got any ideas yourselves... They're welcome, yeah, yeah, those ideas are welcome. For the last nearly three years we've been continuous cruisers, which means we have to move every two weeks or every few days and as much as we've enjoyed traveling the UK like that, we just wanted a change. We want to explore other places such as mountains and waterfalls and Europe. And there are so many places that unfortunately the canals cannot take you to. This is true. <laughs> we arrived at this mooring on the 1st of January. So it's a new year, a new chapter for us. Yeah. We're going to be freshening up what we put in our videos. We've done 80 or so episodes so far and we want to have some fresh inspiration, some exciting new episodes. We want to give that to you guys and we want to explore the world in a different way for a little while. We obviously love living on the boats. We're not selling the boats or anything like that. They're gonna be like our base. And obviously Benny's now got Rambler, so he's gonna be making lots of new music when we're not traveling. And then when we go away, the boats are somewhere safe. You might be wondering what's going to happen to Alan. Well, she's going to come with us for any trips that aren't in the scalding heat. But if we go to other countries, you know, where it's really hot, my mum usually looks after her over in Norfolk, so she loves it there. At her grandma and granddad's house. You know. So we've already got quite a lot of plans and ideas of where we want to go. We would like to explore a lot more of the UK, Scotland, definitely Ireland, some of the Scottish islands, mm. and then over into Europe as well, sort yeah. of Eastern Europe. Who knows where we can go? And if I can beat my fear of flying, well, then we'll go further as well. <laughs> if anyone's got any tips on beating the fear of flying, let me know. I need some help, big time. Yeah, we're so excited to take you guys with us. We're really excited for some fresh creative inspiration. You know, we've been filming the canals for over a year now and it'll be great to have some new subject matter. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. So... And, and who knows, I might even play some gigs out. Europe, Scotland, Ireland. One of our subscribers and patrons really wants us to build a deck on top of the boat so that Benny mm. can play gigs on there. Maybe we could do that on the van and I could mm. drive around slowly yeah. and you could be playing a gig. Oh yeah, I like this I plan, know, I like this plan. So we know that a lot of you are here for the boating, the narrow boating, the canals and all that, but we're hoping that you will stick with us and follow us on our new adventures as well. We are going to obviously still be going out on the boats sometimes, but there's going to be a lot more road trips as well as the boat life. So it's going to be kind of a mixture of everything. And of course, we need to buy the new van and we need to kit it out. It's not going to turn into a DIY channel or just sort of do what we did with Rambler, sort of give you updates Some now and glimpses. again. Yeah. So in the meantime, we're still going to be going out on adventures. So yeah, there's going to be lots to come. And for those of you who do love the boating, as we know there are many, there's a very good chance that some of our travels are going to involve boat related themes anyway. For example, we want to visit the Caledonian canals. We want to visit the Irish canals. I don't know about you, but I want to go to the uh, European canals yeah, in uh, Holland and France yeah. and further out as well. So if you've any ideas about how we can tie that in with what we do, that would be welcomed. We could hire a boat we, yeah we could hire a boat we may end up doing that that would be fun yeah <laughs> we also just want to say a massive thank you to all of you if you're new or if you've been with us from the start or whatever just thank you so much for watching our videos it means so much to us and thanks obviously to our patrons and everyone who buys us coffee so we're very excited about the next chapters yes, we've got we a fight are. we're in the process of finding a new van so wish us luck we'll keep you updated if you don't follow us over on instagram we'll put um there is a link in the description or i'll put the name on the screen now you can follow us over there they're slightly more up to date we're going to try and keep it a bit more up to date now that we've announced this news so in next week's video we will be arriving at our mooring we take a little trip out to stratford upon avon hope that <laughs> this chat hasn't been too long and boring but we just wanted to update you and let you know what's going on and why we're doing everything we're doing so yeah thanks again much love from us all see you next week goodbye bye
to be much better to live in a dream dance between the wild plants